Hi everyone, welcome to InfoCraft. Invincible Robert Kirkman's Amazon Prime animated series and comic book takes us on a thrilling ride with superhero Mark Grayson and his father Nolan, the seemingly invincible Omni-Man. But beneath the surface of heroism lies a dark truth. Omni-Man and his kind, the Viltrumites, are not any benevolent protectors, but rather a race with a superiority complex eerily reminiscent of the Nazis. Well, to be fair, Nazis are ideologically worse because there's actually nothing special about them. But in the grand scheme, Viltrumites have obviously done far worse. The Viltrumites, like the Nazis, believe their race is superior and destined to rule. Omni-Man refers to Viltrum as a perfect society, achieved through ruthless conquest. This mirrors the Nazi obsession with Aryan purity and their expansionist goals. The Viltrumites' dominance is built on brute force. It is shown that Omni-Man has obliterated many planets that defies Viltrumite rule, a chilling display of their power and ruthlessness. The Viltrumites show compassion only to those they deem worthy, much like the Nazis' distinction between Aryans and the subhumans. They engage in systematic genocide, wiping out entire populations of planets they conquer if they refuse to submit to Viltrumite rule. This echoes the Nazi regime's genocidal policies, particularly the Holocaust, where millions per pile were exterminated in the pursuit of an ethnically pure society. In season one, Omni-Man expresses a twisted sense of paternal concern for Mark, but shows no regard for human life otherwise. This creates an unsettling parallel to the Nazis' attempts to control and eliminate those they deemed inferior. The Viltrumites possess incredible strength, speed and durability, making them nearly invincible. This overwhelming power fuels their belief that they are entitled to dominate weaker races. They see conquest not as violence, but as a necessary act to bring order to a chaotic universe, a twisted justification for their warmongering. Their whole thing is conquering everyone else because they're superior. They largely despise other species and those Viltrumites who maintain any affection for other species. People like Nolan, who experienced some love for aliens as shown in season two, are considered as weaklings and perverts to Viltrumite society. Robert Kirkman skillfully utilizes the Viltrumites and their leader, Omniman, to craft a compelling allegory for fascist ideology. Through their supremacist beliefs, expansionist agenda and authoritarian methods, the Viltrumites serve as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by ideologies rooted in notions of racial or genetic superiority. While they may appear as benevolent guardians, their true goal is galactic domination, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. But even in the face of Viltrumite tyranny, heroes like Invincible rise up, proving that even in the darkest corners of the universe, the will to fight for freedom can prevail. The Viltrumites may be strong, but they are not invincible, and their oppressive regime is ultimately doomed to crumble in the face of resistance. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content, let us know what you want to see next in the comments down below.